Hey guys, Cloud here, and today Mojang has added 64 and 128 or any to create servers. So to demonstrate this, I have a ender eye, and when the ender eye is right clicked, it's going to play a function, and the function it will play is starter click, and in starter click, it's going to just play a sound and say the word hi. So this is what it looks like on the normal 20 tick right. And that's what it sounds like. Then if I do the new command slash tick rate, and I set that to 128 tick, this is how fast it is. Now, a more realistic tick rate is something like 64 tick. So we'll use 64 tick for the rest of this video to uh, demonstrate the kind of differences it makes. So as you might have seen, there is a whole lot of extra things added to slash tick. It was mainly added as a command to debug things, but the fact that you can change the rate means that you can uh, have higher tick rates if your server can handle it. The rest of this man command really should be covered in an actual video of its own, but I'm just going to talk about the tick rate and what it means when you up the tick rate and how you can actually account for it in a lot of cases. So we're gonna hop into survival mode and we're gonna just take a look at what happens when I give myself a potion effect of slow falling. Three, oh, it's gone. Did you just see that? Four, three, boom, it's gone. Okay, why did that happen? Well, on 20 tick rate, the timer is five, four, three, two, one, and it's gone. But since I've upped the tick rate, all of the logic besides things associated with player movement is uh, 64 divided by 20 times faster. If I just set the tick rate to 60, then it'll be exactly three times faster. So instead of finishing in five seconds, um, I guess it'd be not more accurate to change it to six. So instead of happening in six seconds, it will finish in just two seconds because it's three times faster. One, two and it's gone. Now, this means that anytime you have potion effects, the actual time of the effects in the player's inventory is not gonna be something that is accurate, which is a little bit inconvenient, but in certain scenarios, like let's say you're making a shooter, a, a PVP shooter even, that is totally acceptable. Other things that can happen with the tick rate being higher uh, is mobs behave differently. So we'll take a look at what happens to a zombie. And oh my god, I cannot even outrun him. I can try to. It's just barely able to outrun him. And he also is hitting me way, way faster. So to actually account for this again, instead of setting your time to six seconds in the uh, 20 tick rate case, if you want six seconds in the 60 tick rate case, you have to set that to 100 and, uh, to 18 seconds. And with the zombie, um, oh, I'm dead. And with the zombie, instead of having a normal zombie, you're going to want a zombie that has a speed much slower. Other issues with the tick rate being higher is this audio thing that will play their randomized audio effects a lot more quickly. So you may just want to disable the sound effects or do your own via command yourself. So what you can see from this is that there are a lot of little details and things that change when you increase the tick rate but in certain scenarios it can actually be worth it for the case of something like a gun you can imagine the ender eye as a weapon uh, and you're trying to hit players accurately as they run across your screen the more ticks you have the more accurate you will be and the less input lag there will be between your right click and when it actually fires in the game uh, it also may make pvp a little bit lower latency um, because PvP also relies on you meleeing people's hitboxes, but that'll have to be proven uh, in server tests, which my server host that I use doesn't currently have the snapshot up and running yet, and uh, we'll have to just wait for that. So just a really quick video showing you guys the new command and the latest snapshot, maybe get you excited for the possibilities with it, even though it does have some interesting consequences. If you thought this was uh, interesting or useful, leave a like, let me know what you think you could do with the new slash tick command, and I'll see you guys next time.